Hey adventurers, this is Lauren with the Adventures of Boogie. Today's adventure, I'm going to get a Reiki massage. Reiki is a Japanese energy healing technique. Some of the health benefits are it relieves pain, anxiety, and fatigue. It treats depression, enhances quality of life, boosts moods, may improve some symptoms and conditions like headache, tension, insomnia, and nausea. So I am here at Rashidat's Detox Cafe. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I've been here before, it's black owned. They have smoothies, salads, juices, and more. They're open They're at the Melanie Fitness Center. Can't wait to get me a smoothie. Doing like a little cleanse today, so let's see what they got. <laughs> I'm here getting my smoothies for my cleanse today. Got the refrigerator full. Beautiful black kings and queens in the back. It's a really nice setup. Oh, let me get up here. They got a seven day detox. Bunch of good goods. They got the sea moss everybody's going crazy about. I love this place. Stop. You can't take my joy, devil. Makes me clap my hands. Makes me wanna. Ooh, ooh. Dance it. Stop. Alright, so. I. I'm doing something adventurous today, but nothing like too crazy. I'm doing a Reiki massage. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that, but it's pretty much to get your energies and your chakras in line. Again, I don't know much about energies and chakras. I'm learning. So um, I will post what I've learned below. I found a black owned Reiki massage business in the Chicago land area. And so I'm really excited. Um, you know, I've been trying to be very intentional about how I spend my money as well as um, who I spend my money with. So I'm, I really, really am excited that I found this Reiki massage um, mas masseuse. I think they call them Reiki masters. It sounds really um, official. But, um, so I talked to some friends who have had Reiki massages before and they were just kind of giving me some tips and some things that like benefited them in the process. And so one of the things that benefited them was fasting during the day or having all natural, um, like foods or, you know, nothing cooked or processed. And so I was thinking like smoothies would be an excellent choice for today. Rasha Dots. Detox Cafe. It's a local Money Fitness Center in Dalton. I've been here before. It's black owned smoothie spot. Amazing, amazing queens and kings who work there. I love it. I always have a good experience when I go in there. I always feel um, appreciated. Great, excellent customer service and delicious smoothies. Like, so good. Oh my God, so good. Um, they have like sea moss, and I know that's like a big thing right now, sea moss. Um, they put those fresh, they put always, oh, always feels like fresh ingredients, always feels really, really good. So I'm really, really excited about the Reiki massage. Um, she does not want me to record the massage, the actual massage. I'm going to see if she feels comfortable with me just recording some of the setup. Um, but again, I understand like different energies and different vibes and stuff like that. So I don't want to ever impose on anyone, but hopefully I can get some good footage for you guys because I'm really, really excited about it. And so, um, yeah, getting my chakras in line and getting my energy in line, um, for this new season of life. I'm just really, really excited. So enjoy the journey, the adventure. Whoa. Enjoy the journey and the adventure today of the Reiki massage. So, cheers. So, this really dope individual I know named Happy um, created a business. This is also black owned, women owned. It's called Centerpiece Drip. And she makes these waist beads. And so, I've really been into them since like last year. Um, she has a list of on the back of her which i think is really dope on the back of her business card i'm um, listing what the different colors represent and they can mean and so i have gold um which i'm assuming is the similar to yellow um which means i got this is the very first one i got 
super dope. Has a little um, gemstone on there. You just let her know your size. She, you can find her on Instagram as well. Um, just really good quality. Again, I've had this since like last summer, maybe even before then. Um, but yellow means optimism, laughter, freedom, inspiration, and creativity. And definitely needed this last year. Um, and I love it. She just recently sent me this one. I, I literally just got it in the mail on Monday. And I'm really, really excited about it. Um, just look at like the detail she puts into it. Super good. Um, and so blue represents communication, self-expression, depth, intuition, and clarity. And I didn't even like tell her I, I wanted this. She just um, decided to bless me and help me out for my birthday. Um, and so she made this for me, which she's so sweet. Her customer service is phenomenal. Um, and she made me this blue one and she, I don't, I don't think we talked about it, but one of the things that I've been focusing on is my intuition and like trusting it and leaning into it. And yeah, I'm just really, it's, I'm really excited that she decided to get me a blue one, um, with that being the meaning behind it. And I just, I love, I love golds. I love blues. I love greens. And you should definitely, I'm going to, I'm going to link her in my comment section, her page. Phenomenal, phenomenal woman. Um, we'll let you know what chakras, what vibes you're going after. Just phenomenal. Oh, Reiki so. masters. Um, but she's going to be the person giving the Reiki mas uh, massage. Um, she recommended that I write down some intentions. And so I've never written down my own intentions before. I've always kind of Googled um, different affirmations and different intentions. And so this is going to be my first time doing it. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have this journal that was gifted to me on my birthday by a classmate um, from junior high and high school. Um, for my 31st birthday, um, she was really, really sweet to come out and play kickball with us. Candice, thank you. I am using this journal. Um, and I was just opening it up and the first thing that she wrote in there was to Lauren happy 31st birthday I hope and pray that this chapter brings you health wealth and a year of good cheer and so I was just thinking like that's such a great way to start my intentions um I'm not a big journaler um but I want to be and so I'm hoping that in this new chapter of life that I will be able to write down in this particular journal because it's so cute it says it is well with my soul um and it's green um and gold which are colors that I love. And so um, I'm hoping that I can write down some intentions today. I was thinking it would be dope. I've been I've been binge watching Moesha on uh, Netflix. So you know how she like writes in her journal on um, the beginning and end of every episode. So like that's what that's the type of vibe I'm, I'm going for. So I'm gonna be recording me writing um, my, my little journal. Lauren's intentions throat chakra which means communication i am capable of expressing my ideas thoughts and concerns vocally my voice has power crown chakra which represents clarifying pure divine i am operating in clarity and not in chaos third eye chakra intuitive insightful intense i trust my intuition solar plexus chakra powerful energetic fiery I attract, I attract great energy. Heart chakra, compassionate, loving, joyful. I invite love in all shapes and forms and I give love and compassion freely. Root chakra, grounded, protective, earthy. I am rooted and grounded in my mind, body, and soul. Sacral chakra, creative, flowing, sensual. I am free to express myself creatively and I am not ashamed of my body's power. I am healed, whole, happy, supported, and loved. I am enough. So I am on my way to my massage. I'm a little early. Um, I've been eating or well, drinking smoothies all day. I'm feeling weak. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I should eat real food after the massage or do I need to maintain the smoothie the entire time the entire day 
I'll ask that my intentions, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I did one based off of every chakra and I have some additional ones just that I wanted for myself personally. Um, so I'm excited about it. Mm. Yeah, so I'm ready. And even if, even if I, if, if she's like, you still need to eat clean for the rest of the day, maybe I'll get a salad or something like that tonight. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited about it. I, I have no energy, so. So if you want to experience a Reiki massage by this person, um, I will give you her email and she will contact you. And she does like a consultation where she like sees your vibe we did our consultation we talked on the phone for maybe like 30 minutes and then we've been texting and she's allowed me to ask any questions about what to do moving forward um i'm really really excited about this i'm hoping that this is a good experience and hopefully i get some footage of the setup so we'll see So I just finished my Reiki massage, loved it, um, phenomenal, I feel so great. Um, she definitely, I would definitely recommend her, very thorough, just just honestly phenomenal. Um, I had a great, great time, very relaxing. I feel so much at like ease and I like feel so much peace. Um, it's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to feel like this relaxed. I, I'm sure I fell asleep at some point in there. No time. Would recommend. Um, I just feel so much like uh, balanced. I feel so much more balanced. Um, and it was just, it was really good. So. But I got the Reiki massage earlier this week. I enjoyed it so much. Um, I went through Reiki, a company called Reiki Reset. Um, the Reiki practitioner was Salima and she was incredible. She was amazing. Um, from the consultation to the week leading up, just answering my questions via text because I had never done it before. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what I needed to do. I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about writing intentions. I didn't know anything about anything. So it was definitely great to have access to her um, when I had those random questions. Um, for me, I felt like, I know some people would be like, oh, I don't, the Reiki, that seems weird or whatever. But for me, it's something I've been wanting to do for like the last couple of months. And um, I had talked to several friends about it and it just seemed like something I needed as far as recharging, um, rebalancing, um, just getting more energy and just being more balanced was, was the key. Um, things have been very, very stressful. Um, anxiety has been out the roof. And so I'm like, whatever is going to calm me <laughs> at this point, I need to utilize and do. And it definitely did. I enjoyed it again. I can't even tell you how much I enjoyed it. I had such a relaxing time. And before I was going there, I just remember feeling, well, partly because I had fasted and was only doing smoothies that whole day. Um, I felt so exhausted. I felt like I had no, I had no energy going in there. And coming in and her having the essential oils, it, like when I walked in, the room was like smelling amazing with the diffusers. Um, she uses young essential oils, um, which I need to purchase some. I've been pushing it off because it's uh, it's pretty pricey. Um, but I need to just go ahead and, and bite the bullet because it's so beneficial. Um, so she had young essential oils and in the diffuser and it smelled amazing. Um, the atmosphere and the and the vibe of the room was just great. Um, she had me come in. Um, and the first we I sat down and we kind of talked um, and she gave me some crystals, um, a, a bowl of crystals. And the first one I grabbed was the rose quartz and the rose quartz um, represents unconditional love, high energy, 
Um, it soothes, it's, it's uh, based off the heart chakra. Um, the balance is the chakras. It raises self-esteem. It eases guilt, balances emotions, and brings peace. And so she, I grabbed the crystal first and she told me after the Reiki massage what it represented. Um, the other second one I, I gravitated towards was the pyrite. Oops, the pyrite helps shield from negativity, um, helps shield from negative energy. Um, it deals with anxiety, which I've been talking about nonstop. I'm sure it's annoying how much I'm talking about anxiety. Um, prosperity, more abundant vibrations. And so um, she said that she dealt with um, my higher chakras initially. And so that's the throat chakra, the crown chakra, and the third eye chakra, and the heart chakra. Those are the ones that she spent most of the energy on. And it was really interesting. When she was dealing with my throat chakra, I started like coughing. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> I'm like super self conscious. I'm like, oh gosh, she's gonna think I have corona. <laughs> so, um, I think she sensed the embarrassment uh, from me from coughing so hard, and she was like, "No, you're like letting go of that energy that's been trapped in your throat." And I thought that was really interesting, and so um, she was telling me at the end to like really trust my intuition, which is something I've been focusing on, and I even said that earlier before I went that um and how happy got me the way speed um the blue way speed and how that deals with intuition and so i thought that was really cool that she was telling me to start trusting my intuition more and then she was telling me to use my voice um and so all things all of it was it was great all of it was spot on i felt you know rejuvenated i felt balanced i would encourage people to do it um if, and if you're not comfortable doing it, you know, you don't have to do it. Um, definitely do some research. Um, I'm open to talk to anybody about my experience. But I, I, I really did thoroughly enjoy it. I didn't think it was like some spooky, like, ooh, you know, how, you know how we can get sometimes. So, but I didn't feel like that way at all. I felt like it was really calming and just very, um, very much what I needed. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the adventures of Boogie. Follow, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if there's any other adventures that you want me to do. I am I am pretty game for anything. Even if it's not in Chicago, I am willing to travel. So let me know. Um, enjoy your week. Be great. Nothing less.